Yes, I went to restaurants as often as I could, and uh, I hoped I'd find a, a good pizza, but they were not easy to find. I thought, well, I'll, uh, I've got a few bob. Uh, I'll uh, open one myself, a pizzeria, which I did in Wardle Street. Well, I took out the widow of Mario Zampi, and um, she told me that she had the uh, lease of the property and if I wanted, you know, I could buy it. And so I did, I bought it for 14,000 uh, pounds. When I started out, I used the big baking trays that Mario Zampi had had. And uh, I, so we got a, a pizza that size, which I cut up into uh, eight sections and sold on a piece of greaseproof grease paper for two shillings. And uh, it, it went quite well, you know, it was fairly successful from the beginning. And uh, I ran into um, Signor Rapicella, Enzo. He uh, discovered me in uh, uh, Water Street and uh, he um, took over the design of the place which was very good. And the second one I opened in the, uh, near the British Museum. It's just a nice, simply made dish without a lot of uh, uh, nasty uh, ingredients. I was aware of Venice being in trouble and um, I invented the Pizza Venezia. I added a 25 pence surcharge, so we collected quite a lot of money for Venice. In fact, altogether we raised two million pounds. I became a vegetarian from the age of five. My mother said, we're going up to Scotland, you'll be able to have some beef. I said, but I don't want it. So five years old, I turned down the idea of beef and any other flesh. Well, I was a naughty boy and I scratched my name on one of the wooden pews and it's still there. Well, I'd been watching Peterborough United since I was eight years old. I heard that the club was in financial difficulty. So I had all this millions of pounds, and so I put seven and a half million into the club, which kept it going. I hope I'm somebody that's easy to get on with, that um, uh, has seen a lot of the world and is um, just fun to be with. <laughs>